And our other student is Robin Nelson. <laughs> Foundation 
of her joy that she has and that she shares very um, graciously with everyone. She's a very joyous person. And I appreciate that because even when she's experiencing difficult times, she still is tenacious and then she still shares joy with others. So I wanted to share that about The virtue that I chose was humility, and humility actually comes from the word humus, which we see hummus, which literally means from the ground or somebody who's low, uh, which is kind of a paradox because we exalt people who are low, we exalt people who are humble. Um, and uh, Epictetus said, if anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make, you ex do not make excuses about what is said, but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults, or else he would have mentioned those alone. This sums up Robin very concisely. She knows her faults and readily admits them, yet it is the admission of her weaknesses that makes her strong, and she lives humility. The virtue that I see within Robin is responsibility, which can sound really boring, uh, depending on who you're talking to. And I, 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 I see it frequently, um, almost every moment that I am with Robin, but I have two shining anecdotes, and one is extremely public, and one is quiet and, and personal between her and I. And the first was during our one-act play this year. Robin had the humility to play a character who has multiple changes and has a twin brother and has to share the stage with everyone and has so many lines, and on the first time we performed this play, the character who played her twin was sick and couldn't be there for our first performance that we had ever done. <laughs> and I was terrified as directors, my thank you. And I said, I know someone who could help. Robin, can you play not just one part, but two? A part that you have not learned the lines for, except that you had to know so that you could respond to. And she looked like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's the extreme, and she did a splendid job. And the second was more personal. Uh, we have a long project that students have to plan for in my class. Um, over the course of the year, many of you parents have suffered through the classical literacy project. Thank you. And um, I did not know that the eighth grade would be going on a field trip the day that Robin was set to do her presentation. And Robbie came to me a week, two weeks before, and let me know that. And I said, we'll work it out, but it slipped my mind. And then the field trip happened, and Robbie came to me the day she came back and said, can I do writing project now? And I said, well, we'll talk about it um, when your class period comes up. Can we do writing project now? Uh, and then after, well, at the end of the class period, can we do my project now? And then at lunch, can we do my project now? And then after lunch, can we do my project now? And she would not rest, and she persevered, and she was a beacon of responsibility in that moment. And it was only for me to see, but now I've shared it with you. Responsibility. It's hard to follow that. <laughs> the virtue I've chosen for Robin is honesty, because I've always found that she's the trustworthy person. Um, I've always thought the word perseverance was good for Robin. Um, through many challenges of the of the three years that she's been in classes of mine, um, different changes in um, in not only in the way that the school is going and different things like that, and the way that the classes are. I, I think that, I don't think Robin has ever not turned in a paper on time, which is pretty amazing to me that that, that has happened. And so perseverance to me, I don't know 
if she stays up till midnight every night, she might do that. Um, but but I know that for a lot of the, the, the classwork and stuff that she does and the things that she's done and the quality of the work that she's done, that there must be a lot of perseverance. And so that's why I chose that one. Well, I'll, I guess I'll sew it up and um, just say ditto to perseverance and some of those other things I chose. Uh, first of all, perseverance, but then Ms. Davidson told me that one was already taken, that I couldn't choose perseverance. If someone had gotten to that particular uh, virtue before I did. However, I chose uh, the characteristic of determination. Uh, because as Ms. Jones said, uh, you're going to go after what you want, and you're going to keep on and on and on until you get it like that particular um, assignment. And so I've noticed that about you in the years that I've been here. What I think is really special about you, though, and this was my first choice, is that you are very charitable and caring. And I think that is a wonderful quality that's going to take you very far. Uh, you care about other students, and I've seen you express that in different ways. And so, uh, it is an honor for me to have been with you these years, and I look forward, hopefully, to some more years with you. And congratulations on the Aries Story Award. Trophies, and so we're very proud of you. We'd like to give you another hand. 